from Let Us See. I'm Suzanne Ridgway and welcome to my channel. I have the water going. I'm going to fill up my pot to put on the stove for some baste for my turkey. I'm going to be doing a 19 pound turkey today. I'm going to put you on my camera stand. Like that. And while the pot is filling up, I'm going to start putting my red onion here. Colander out. This is almost filled up. I have my big stock pot full of water. I'm going to put it on the stove on high heat. I put it on high heat until it becomes a raging boil, then I turn it down to low and let it simmer because this is going to be my baste to baste the turkey every 30 minutes while it's in the oven. I'm going to add some garlic and fresh black cracked pepper, about a couple tablespoons each. Give that a quick stir. I also have some turkey stock. I'm going to add a little to that and also onto my turkey. Almost half the box. Now this is a very big bird. It's 19 pounds. I'm going to take the packaging off. Cut it in the front like so. Get in there if I can. There we go. Make a little bit of a mess. Make sure you rinse your knife with soap and water before you chop vegetables with it. I'm gonna put this into the sink now. There we go. And my hands are wash. Just wipe this down real quick. Turkey's in the sink. I'm going to open this bad boy up. Give it a quick rinse with cold water. Taking the plastic thing off can be kind of tricky. Kind of dig your hands in there and take everything out. I don't stuff my bird. And it's out. Phew. That was rough. Okay, now I'm going to just rinse it on the inside. All over. My hands another wash. Washing my knife before I use it on the vegetables again. 
And I have my garbage bowl in my sink. I'm going to take my big roasting pan and pour some of the stock into the bottom. Just a couple splashes. Onion peels in my garbage bowl. I am using a cutting board mat from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut the onion in half. No dicing or mincing today. I'm going to put the onion in the pan just like this. Take out the rest of my, a couple more of my celery stalks. And two left. Exactly two. I'll have my husband pick more up at Walmart. Add that to the list. Get these a rough chop. Because tomorrow, what's left over turkey? I am going to make turkey noodle soup in my crock pot. Pick up these celery pieces and put them to the bottom. Now, when we're taking care of the turkey later after it's all done cooking, I save everything in the bottom of the pan into my crock pot for my soup starter because my soup is from scratch. I don't like canned soup at all, even though we do have some. Now the celery, I don't really eat it from the turkey pan, so I'm, but you still going to cut it kind of thin, not too thick, so they get soft about like that. I think that's about a half an inch. I'm going to get some frozen peppers and onions from the uh, freezer. These are bird's eye frozen peppers and onions. They're from Walmart. I'm not a sponsor of either. I just like their products. I'd say I put about a quarter of a cup into the bed. Uh, Roasting pan. Now I'm going to give the bird a quick rub down with my clean hands. Kind of look for the pop up timer. Excuse me while my back is turned. And there doesn't appear to be a pop up timer. right side up. My husband's going to assist for a second. Wash up. Got that upside down. Thank you. I don't think you can get through. Give me a few minutes and I'm going to have it all done. Okay. I'm going to season this with garlic. About a couple of teaspoons. That's all you need. A couple of teaspoons of fresh black crab pe pepper. I always stutter on that word. Try to get it all over the bird. I'm going to get some butter pats. You're going to have to clean out the refrigerator, honey, unless it's going right in the oven. I'm going to cut the butter pats about that thick and place them throughout the bird. 
Do we have to lower our rack? Yes. I would do that before you turn it on. Some butter inside the turkey. He's going to lower the rack for me. So you'll hear some noise. Smash. A couple more butter pats. I usually use about a half a stick. There's exactly a half a stick left of this that I took out of the fridge. And then I'm going to pour some stock over the bird. about a tablespoon and give another quick teaspoon of fresh black cracked pepper rinse my hands and I'm going to show you the bird that's what it looks like and it's going to go into the oven and I'll be back later